dear viewers greetings in this present video we are going to discuss about the sterilization by physical method uh, totally there are uh, five methods of uh, physical sterilization methods the first one is uh, drying second one is dry heat third one is uh, moist heat fourth one is filtration and the fifth one is radiation in this video we are going to discuss about the first three methods that is uh, drying dry heat and moist heat in the next video we will discuss about the filtration and uh, radiation a sterilization a sterilization is a process in which an article surface or medium is free of all the living organisms and in simple words sterilization is the process of killing of microorganisms and the sterilization was carried out by two methods one is physical method the second one is the chemical method totally uh, there are uh, five methods of physical sterilization method among the five the first method is drying uh, second method is uh, dry heat the dry heat method includes uh, flaming incineration and uh, sterilization by hot air using hot air oven the third method is moist heat it includes uh, pasteurization temperature below 100 degrees celsius boiling temperature at 100 degrees celsius tendalization and autoclaving that is a temperature above 100 degree celsius the fourth method is filtration uh, four types of filters were mainly used that includes uh, candle filter asbestos filter sintered glass filter and membrane filter and finally the fifth uh, method is uh, sterilization by using radiation uh, two types of radiations were used for the sterilization it includes uh, non ionizing radiations and ionizing radiations example for non ionizing non ionizing radiations includes infrared radiation and ultraviolet radiation and, uh, and an example for ionizing radiation includes x rays gamma rays and cosmic rays among the five physical method of sterilization in this video we are going to discuss about the first three method of uh, physical method of sterilization that is uh, drying dry heat and moist heat uh, first method of sterilization is uh, drying and basically the moisture is an essential uh, source for the growth of many bacteria uh, four fifth of the weight of the bacterial cell is mainly due to the moisture and the drying means the removal of moisture and drying in has a deleterious effect on many bacteria but unfortunately the spores are unaffected by drying uh, because of this nature uh, uh, this drying process is not widely considered as, uh, as an effective uh, sterilization process the second method of uh, physical sterilization is uh, dry heat and the flaming is the first method of uh, dry heat sterilization in flaming inoculation loops uh, tips of forceps and spatulas are held in the bunsen burner flame uh, till they become red hot the second method of dry heat sterilization is incineration uh, incineration is an excellent method for safety destroying mat materials such as uh, uh, contaminated cloth animal carcasses and pathological materials and an equipment used for the incineration process is called an incinerator uh, incineration plant must be designed to ensure that the flue gases uh, reach a temperature of at least 850 degrees celsius that is 1560 fahrenheit degree uh, for two seconds uh, in order to ensure proper breakdown of uh, toxic organic substances and this is the image of uh, incinerator uh, which is uh, used for the incineration process of sterilization and the third method of uh, dry heat sterilization is uh, hot air oven sterilization the hot air oven is a widely used method uh, for sterilization by dry heat and it is used to sterilize uh, glassware, uh, forceps, uh, scissors, uh, scalpels, uh, glass syringes and swabs. The principle of uh, hot air oven is uh, the temperature required for sterilization is inversely proportional to time. This is the principle of hot air oven and the temperature and duration for the sterilization by using hot air oven is 140 degrees celsius for 1 hour 30 minutes 160 degrees celsius for 1 hour and 180 degrees celsius for half an hour this is the temperature and duration for sterilization by using hot air oven 
Uh, this is the image of uh, hot air oven, uh, which is widely used for the uh, sterilization by dry heat method. Uh, next, uh, mode of action of hot air oven. Uh, the fan present in the hot air oven and circulates uh, the hot air within the hot air oven. The circulating hot air sterilizes the uh, material which were kept for sterilization. And the hot air oven kills the microorganisms by denaturation of proteins. Uh, safety precautions to be followed while sterilizing in, in, in hot air oven. Uh, first, uh, overloading of uh, material should be avoided during the sterilization. The second one, products to be sterilized should be wrapped completely with paper. And the hot air oven must be allowed to cool slowly for about two hours before the door is open. Uh, because the glassware may crack due to sudden or uneven cooling. And the third method of uh, physical sterilization is moist heat. Uh, pasteurization. Uh, pasteurization is the first method of moist heat sterilization. And the pasteurization is the fractional sterilization process of milk. And this process was first introduced by the scientist Louis Pasteur, uh, who is very well known as uh, father of uh, modern microbiology. The pasteurization process uh, was uh, is usually carried out by two methods. Uh, first method is the holder method. Uh, second method is the flash method. Uh, in holder's method, the temperature is less and the duration is long. That is 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. And for flash method, the temperature is high and the duration is low. That is uh, 72 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 seconds. Uh, during the pasteurization process, all the spore forming bacteria and heat resistant bacteria were killed. Uh, this image shows the pasteurization unit in dairy industries. Uh, the second method of uh, moist heat sterilization is uh, boiling. Uh, while boiling, uh, vegetative bacteria are killed almost immediately at uh, 90 to 100 degrees Celsius, uh, but endospore forming bacterial isolates uh, requires prolonged period of boiling and boiling is uh, not recommended for the sterilization of uh, laboratory instruments and boiling uh, is usually preferred for cooking the food materials. And the third method of uh, moisture sterilization is uh, tantalization process. Uh, tantalization is a process dating from 19th century for sterilizing substances particularly foods and it is uh, named after its inventor uh, John Tyndall. And the tantalization process is an uh, occasionally used to process for the sterilization process uh, and it is used to destroy the spores. Uh, tantalization essentially consists of heating the substances uh, to boiling point or just a little below boiling point and holding it there for 15 minutes, three days in succession. And the fourth method of uh, moisture sterilization is autoclave sterilization. Autoclave is a pressure chamber. Uh, used to, to carry out the sterilization under pressure that is uh, moist heat. The mechanism of, uh, of the autoclave sterilization is similar to the pressure cooker. And the autoclave is working under the principle of uh, Boyle's law uh, which means uh, when volume is constant, temperature is directly proportional to time. The temperature and duration for autoclave sterilization is 121 degrees Celsius or 15 LBS for 20 minutes. Uh, the autoclave is used to, to sterilize the dressings, uh, instruments, laboratory wear, culture media and pharmaceutical products. And this image is the image of uh, autoclave, which is, why, which is used for moisture sterilization. Uh, next, uh, mode of action of autoclave. Uh, during autoclaving, uh, water boils when its vapor pressure equals that of uh, the surrounding atmosphere. Uh, hence, when the pressure inside a closed vessel increases, the temperature at which water boils also increases. At the time of autoclaving, steam was produced and uh, sterilizes the materials which were kept for sterilization. Autoclaving kills the microorganisms by the process of uh, coagulation and denaturation of enzymes and structural proteins and make the microorganisms non-functional. Our next uh, safety precautions during autoclave sterilization. The first one, Overloading of material should be avoided. The second, the product to be sterilized in autoclaving should be wrapped completely with papers. And third one, the autoclave must be allowed to free for 15 minutes for the release of pressure. 
Uh, finally, uh, quality control and sterility checking of an autoclave. Uh, a biological indicator of uh, sterility uses uh, uh, endospores of the bacterium, bacillus stereothermophilus, uh, impregnated into tape. After autoclaving, the tape is uh, aseptically inoculated into the sterile broth. If no bacterial growth appears, the original material is considered sterile. If bacterial growth appears, the material is considered as non-sterile. Uh, thank you for your support. Uh, in the next video, we will discuss about the uh, physical method of sterilization by using uh, various filters and radiation. Thank you.